<laughs> Scream Fest, it's a Halloween carnival. So it's, it's more than just a haunted house. We have many haunted houses. We have carnival games. We have other rides and we have freak shows. We also have seven haunted houses that you won't see anywhere else. All of this stuff. Uh, and we're only here for 12 days, right? And then we go away, come back next year with four different haunted houses. So if you don't come this year, you're gonna miss four of the haunted houses we have here this year. With mutated monsters, bloody body parts, and 3D psycho clowns, Scream Fest is designed for visitors to live the full mayhem of horror. My favorite part about Scream Fest is the overall feel. Like when you come, it's just a good time. If you, even if you don't like to be scared, it's, it's just a fun time. There's so much to do. We've got fire spinners outside, loud music inside, band some nights, and it's just, it's a, just a good overall time for anybody. What we do is we take these carnival games and we just give it a little Halloween twist. So Feed the Demon is basketball, but instead of throwing baskets in a hoop, you're throwing severed heads in a monster's mouth. <laughs> oh, look at that. The Carnival of Carnage isn't just the vision of one man. A year-round staff create new ideas and rebuild fan favorites, while 11 semi-trucks deliver the ghoulish and ghastly experience to COP every year. It takes a team of us. It's not, uh, you know, we, we all have our own little areas that we are good at. So we've got a couple full-time employees. One of our employees designs all of our sets. You know, um, we will sit together and come up with a creative concept, and then he actually, you know, chisels it down to the finished product. Um, some of the stuff, we go to trade shows. Believe it or not, there are trade shows just for haunted house owners. Uh, all over the US. There are some in Canada as well. So we go to those annually and see what's new in the industry and try and incorporate that. And it's a, yeah, it's just a collective, it's a collaboration of a bunch of people. That creative group of people have come up with some pretty sinister ideas, including a fully motorized coffin ride. So Mike, tell us about this ride at Spring Fest. This is called the last ride. And it, what it is, is it's a virtual coffin ride. So it's like you are being buried. So we put you in this coffin, which is a real coffin. We close the lid and then you take, you go through the entire experience in pitch black darkness. Okay. You want to give it a Let's shot? Let's give it a go. <laughs> Reporting from Screamfest for Shaw TV, I'm Alana Nolan.